Hi there, it's Hugo, one of the founders of Quenza. I'm really excited to show you our latest feature, Files. With this new feature, you can add files to your Quenza account, share them with your clients, create folders and so on. Let me show you how it works. So what you will first notice is that there is a new menu, menu item over here. It's called Files. And here you can create folders and add files. So how do we add a file? Pretty simple. Click on the Add File button, choose Upload a File, and simply choose the file you want to upload. You can upload as many files as you want at the same time. But for this purpose, I only chose one. Now I click Done, and now as you can see, the file has been added. Quenza will also add icons for known file types. It's also possible to link to files that are stored elsewhere. So you can actually create files that are, for instance, hosted on your Dropbox account or on your Google Drive. To do so, go again to Add File, but this time choose Add a Link. First of all, paste the link to the service or website that you're linking to, in this case Dropbox in my example, and give it a name. So let's call this Test. So this link is now added to your file system, you could say, and you can use it in the same way as you would with files that you have uploaded. You can share them with clients, you can move them to folders and so on. And I think this is a very nice way to keep everything organized in one place. So what you can also do is create folders. So let me create a folder, let's say uh, manuals. I create this folder and now as you can see, I'm in this folder and I can start uploading files here as well. Um, I think what is nice is that you can also uh, switch between a list view and a grid view. You can do so by means of this item here, by just clicking it. As you can see here, I uploaded a few images. Now, the beautiful thing is that you can start sharing files with your clients. So for instance, if I choose to share this file with a client, I click on the three dots menu here and click on share. Now I can select the client I want to share this with. Let's say I want to share this with David. I save it and now, as you will see, I'm going to log in as David. David has now received a new notification telling him that I have shared a file with him. If he clicks on this file, he will see the image that I shared with him. And you can do this, of course, with any kind of file. Now let me get back to my own application, my professional application. When a file is shared with a client or a group, you can see this icon next to the file name. So this means that this file is shared with one or more clients. You can also add more clients to share this file with here or unselect this client. When I do so, the file is no longer shared with this client and the client has no longer access to this file. You can do the same thing in the client menu. So if I go to, let's say this client over here and go to files, I can also add files here and share them with this client. So in this way, you can easily create a portfolio of files for a certain client. And the beauty of, of this approach is that clients can do the very same thing. So your clients can also share files with you. If they do so, they will appear automatically here in the files menu of this client. I think this is the most important to know for files. I think it's, it's, um, it's a good idea to play around a bit. Uh, you can, of course, download files, rename them, move them into folders and so on. But for this purpose, I hope that I've demonstrated um, how cool this new feature is. I hope you will enjoy and let us know if there is anything we can help with. Take care. Bye.